The flow of traffic around traffic lights is controlled by sensors. Sometimes they're on top of the lights as shown here. Other times they're actually embedded into the road. Grooves are cut and the pressure sensors are laid in the actual road surface. Knowing how these sensors work allow you to anticipate and plan what's going to happen at traffic lights. As we approach the oncoming traffic is flowing and our lights are on green. Because there's a big space between us and the traffic we're following, the sensors think that there's no traffic and the lights will then change. Notice the sensors on the floor and on top of the traffic lights. This situation the lights in front of us has changed onto green. What I've got my pupil to do in this situation is keep up the traffic quite positively, not to try and race and make the lights but keeping up with the flow, therefore the sensors on the road can still sense our car is here and they're less likely to change. Always be ready to stop however. This situation is a little bit different. My pupil this time was a little bit slow away, causing too big of a space in between us and the car in front. The sensors think no one's there and the lights change. This can then cause problems with people behind either jumping red lights or going into the back of you. From this information we've now learned, we can actually anticipate the flow of the traffic and anticipate also when the lights are going to change. The traffic from side to side is now clearing, there's not much coming through. So the sensors at the side will probably let someone else go. We can see the pedestrian crossing area in front of us has just changed onto red, so it can't be our turn. Now focus at the filter traffic and there's a space. Their sensors will stop them from going and allow us to go. Use this information to help you plan when you're going to go, but never jump red lights.